You walk into a humidor and you look around and there's so many shades of brown. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the different colors that you're commonly gonna find on cigar wrappers. The largest factor that will influence the final color of a cigar wrapper is fermentation. Fermentation is a process in which dried tobacco leaves undergo microbiological processes which impact the taste and color of the tobacco leaves. The temperature at which the fermentation process takes place along with the duration will impact the characteristics of the actual tobacco leaf itself. The second factor is the amount of sun the tobacco plant gets as well as the positioning of the leaves relative to the sun. The third factor is the actual strain of tobacco that is being grown. There are many different characteristics of many different tobacco leaves and some of them are just naturally darker than others. The last factor is when the tobacco leaves are primed from the tobacco plant, which means removed from the plant. The longer the leaves stay on the plant, the darker and more brownish they'll get versus if you trim those leaves earlier, they're generally gonna be much lighter. The cigar industry has created seven distinct wrapper profiles that they group all wrappers into. Now you have to understand that every tobacco plant is different so getting all wrappers to be perfect is an art in itself. Let's talk about them. The first is double chloro. This wrapper tends to be a light green and locks in a lot of that green chlorophyll from the tobacco plant. A while back, this was one of the most popular colors in the United States. The second cigar color is chloro. These have very little to offer in terms of taste, but come in a lightish brown color. The third, Colorado chloro, which is a light reddish brown, which often gets that color by being grown in direct sunlight. The fourth cigar wrapper color and also in the middle of the pack is the Colorado, also called as the Rosado. This is a medium brown to brownish red and full flavored. The fifth, the Colorado Maduro, which is darker than the Colorado, but lighter than the Maduro. The sixth cigar wrapper color is called Maduro. Maduro in Spanish means mature. This is a darkish reddish, almost black color that is the most common cigar wrapper color you will find full of rich flavor and legendary. The seventh and last cigar wrapper color is called Oscuro. These are as dark as they get in terms of cigar wrappers. They're achieved by leaving the leaves on as long as possible and pruning from the top to get that really deep, rich, dark flavor. So there you go. Next time you go and smoke a stove with a friend, you're gonna look at the cigar color of the wrapper and you're gonna say, did you know that this is a Colorado wrapper? And your friend's gonna look at you and say, nice. And you're going to look back and say, yeah. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos on all things cigars, we ask you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you love cigars and want to connect with tobacconists from all across the world, we invite you to join the Cigar Club. The Cigar Club is a free online Facebook community that allows people to connect, share reviews, and defend our right to enjoy good smoke with good people. And remember, a cigar with friends is a commitment of your time to connect, de-stress, and relax. Thank you for sharing some of your time with me, and I'll see you in the comments.